Hello, Digidestins. This is Kyle D, better known as Rye My Avatar, and I'm bringing you the top cards that you should be picking up from BT4 for future uses, and before they are kind of skyrocket to the heavens, because again, you never know what's going to happen with these future sets that come down the line. Cards that might seem not important now might become really expensive. As you could see with um, the Devamon, it wasn't till literally the following set that it just spiked. It really took set four and then it took off and climbed to $20 for a little bit, but it's back down to like the five range, which is good. But again, definitely keep an eye out for cards like this. So again, cards like the uncommons or rares aren't really on the high radar. radar. Um, Bakuman is definitely really good for Hexablaumon. Make sure you pick this card up, okay? Again, pick it up. This is still useful for a little bit and kind of fades out when the new one comes in. Um, definitely Pokemon is really good. He's cheap evolution cost. They kind of push him off to the side. Don't sleep on this card right here, Flame Flamon, because this card could spike, even though it's a common. Again, set four eventually goes out of print. We have set seven coming down in a cup in like three to four sets. So again, remember once set seven hits, this card's going to be more viable because we're going to get cards like Emperor Greymon and new probably Agunimons and stuff like that just to help push this deck up. So again, Flamemon could be replaced very easily, but I don't think so. so definitely pick him up when you can. Agunimon is definitely worth the pickup investment because again, he's a good target to Digivolve onto Tamers, especially if we get more hybrid stuff. Again, we could talk about this card here. Alderman is definitely a big hitter. You want to pick him up because I'm telling you this right now, this cheap card will spike once set seven hits. This card will be hard to get. Um, we do get a alternate art as a box topper. So again, you have a second way of getting him, but be careful because you don't want to sleep on this card. Again, it seems like it's lacklustering, but I promise you it's not. Because being able, while this Digi Evolution card includes a Digimon with hybrid in its form or a red tamer, it gets plus 4,000. Again, to me, there's no way you can't have the hybrid and a tamer. Because again, he can't Digivolve on top of it. So I think the text of a red tamer is kind of really ridiculous. Um, but outside of that, I think this is pretty good because while this Digi Again, it gains security attack and it becomes 11k. Again, right now this meta doesn't allow him to shine as well, but a right form of Rookie Rush styling deck would definitely push him where he needs to go. Because again, there's just some issues that he does fall under because he is only max 7 DP or 11 DP. But again, you can work around him. Rise Greymon's really nice. Being able to this treat it as yellow. Again, Digiverse 2. You may have a red or yellow card with a play cost four or less from your hand without paying its memory cost with a tamer. Again, really powerful. And then if you have a tamer in play, one of your opponents did you want to get minus thousand DP. This card is relevant for a good while. It doesn't fall off like where people would think it would. I think Rise Greymon and Aldermon definitely get your pickups here. Definitely pick them up. They're not going to go anywhere for a while. You're going to definitely see more. Um, Giant Greymon support in the future, especially when that new trial deck comes out in set six. So again, pick it up when you can. Victory Greymon sadly will fall off. Like again, he's a rare, so he's not too scary, but if you want to get the alternate, get it while it's cheap. Again, it'll keep going down, so don't worry too much about it. I think that's really all that red covers. Let's talk about blue. Um, Strawbimon will be definitely a pickup. Pick it up when you can. Lobomon is definitely a good pickup because, again, even now through set six, seven, this card is always going to be played because most blue decks play Davis. So this card is always the evolutionary one they choose to Digivolve on top of, which is really good because, again, Lobomon can win you a game through that method. Um, Ga Gaoman, while this card is trash, when this card is trashed by Digiburst, we don't really get much Digibursting for blue past this set. So definitely don't worry about it too much. Definitely pick up your Bio Wolf Mons because he is cheap now. I don't want you guys to sleep on this and you lose out on Bio Wolf. 
because again, if you lose out on him, you're going to be struggling when that set comes out. Don't want to miss out on him. Pick him up when you like now, like hold on to him, put him away. Just put your four away because again, we are getting set seven hybrid support. More than likely, the spirit warriors will get more ways of searching it again. You don't want to lose your opportunity. Being able to not be attacked and has jamming really good. You don't want to, like I'm saying, don't lose your opportunity on this. Next, Z Gurumon definitely could still see continuous play, but it does fade off pretty quickly because, again, Imperial Dramon just shines 10 times better. Mag Mirage Go Gagamon is definitely really nice. Gaining one memory for each car four cards in your opponent's hand. It is also unblockable. It's a card that doesn't see much support until it probably gets another wave of it for itself. Again, the card is definitely lethal, but the problem is you can do a lot more with Impel Dramon than you'll do with Mirage. Just definitely hurts that this card just doesn't see much play. Next, let's talk about greens. I mean, yellow. Because obviously yellow is just really good regardless of the situation. Um, of course, Bushi Agumon is still very relevant for a while. Pi Palamon is very relevant for a while. War Growlmon kind of starts fading off a bit. It doesn't see continuous play in future deck builds because Lord Nightmon just cares more about its other stuff that it can do. Again, get your War your Raymons kind of start dipping further and further once Lord Lord. Lord Nightmon comes in because, I mean, Crusademon? Crusademon comes in, sorry. It makes their names up so much. Crusademon just really helps out, just does what it needs to, and you're not dealing with having to have Angel Woman underneath it to play while Crusademon just plays it and then gets bigger and stays big. Again, I find that ridiculous to ever stay huge. I don't like that concept. It should never stay permanently huge, but they love yellow for some reason. Definitely. You don't have to really worry about War Greymon. Pick up like two to three. Hold it off to the side, if anything. Anything else would just be ridiculous. Um, next, Lalamon. Definitely keep Lalamon in your back burner mind. Lala Lalamon definitely will see play continuing going forward. Being able to Digiburst 2 to spend your opponent's Digimon. And... It gets better because of the fact of the matter is Rafulimon is really good because again, you're if you have Digiburst effects, it just goes off more. Again, Green's kind of new stick is sticking with Digiburst, so definitely pay attention to that. Next, we do have Nidhog. Nidhog starts falling off a bit because it's still good. Regardless of the situation, it's still good. It spends Shuffles back, but he'll come down to two copies in a deck. And that's all you're really ever going to need for Nidhogg. So don't push yourself to get more. Don't worry about it. Black kind of doesn't really do much with our good friends. Mandramon definitely doesn't get any more support like for one card. That's about it. Let's see. Um, Go, Go Mama. Go Ma Manamon is really decent. I think you should pick him up. He's cheap right now. I think he's only dollars. Don't sleep on this card. This card will skyrocket once a deck can benefit from him. And Blastmon is definitely decent. He, the punch deck is just straight up good. But again, you'll have to wait and see what happens. And I don't highly recommend just diving into Blastmon just to call it a day. Um, purple... Anubismon, definitely pick up your playset of Anubis and just keep it. It's still good for a good while. Anubismon's never bad. It combos well with Mastamon. Ludamon gets really good, guys. Set 5 introduces another like 2-card kill spell that Plutamon can definitely take advantage of. Or it's 6 costs. So definitely make sure you have your Plutamons because if you lose your Plutamons, you're kind of screwed. I'm not joking. Like This card will spike. This, this card will climb. Next, we have Chaosmon. Of course, Chaosmon's like the better green card, um, black card than it needs to be. It splashes in greens a little bit, but they kind of start falling off from needing their Chaosmons. Um, once to spend this Digimon, then it can attack your opponent's Digimon. It's a, This effect allows you to attack unsuspended Digimon as well. Not bad. Swings in. Kind of goes for lethal if you can get to it. But again, it's just a big body, folks. 
Older Arm kind of gets a reprint, but it's also still a great card in yellow because they like going up into it. Definitely, definitely pick him up. But again, he's dipping really far down. Um, Ancient Greymon, to be honest with you, unless they really fix him, he'll probably be um, replaced by Emperor Greymon, and you won't need Ancient Greymon. Again, unless they fix it so they can, he gains Pierce in some way, shape, or form, he's just a worse version of our great friend Ragnar Lordmon that just does everything he wants to try to do but better. Again, the promo does help, but don't worry about it. Ancient Gurumon, definitely pick him up if you are planning to play Ancient Gurumon in set 6, 6, 7, any further sets like that, because this card is going to be nuts. It doesn't matter because, again, Gar Margo, the Gurumon that is the Mega form, that's the fusion between four of the spirits, is super important. And it's a Garumon name. So again, definitely don't sleep on it. It's just great to restand it and then sw swing with it. Ancient Garumon being able to be cheated in by its promo is just this deck is just going to keep getting better and better. Doesn't matter as long as they print a Garumon support, they print um, hybrid support. This this card is never going to go bad in any format, like as long as it has its combo piece. And that's this. This is why this card is going to go really well then definitely pick up lusamon i'm sorry i hate to say like oh you don't need lusamon if they're going in set seven they're going to need lusamon's rookie form again it can only digivolve you can only digivolve further through lusamon to his next stage guys don't sleep on this card i'm not joking really don't sleep on this card this card i know it's dipping Wait a little bit longer, but don't wait until seven starts spoiling. Once they s reveal there is one Lucimon coming in set seven, this card will sit at 150 quite easily. I'm betting this one will sit closer to 200 because again, it's a secret that you need for Lucimon because there's no other lower level Lucimons for it. And being it part of its secret is scary. You don't want to miss out on it. I promise you. Pick it up, like no matter what. Um, Izzy's really good. Pick him up, definitely. Like out of and Marcus, because Greymon support is always going to be good. So again, Marcus helps out with that. Izzy's pretty decent. Definitely being able to fix Black's issues with gaining memory and stuff like that, putting tops cards. Um, let's take a look at options. Atomic Inferno might be really good. Pick it up. Hide it away. Um, Heir to the Dragons, not really. I wouldn't push for it. Um, Trident Revolver, not really. Binding Ray, definitely have your playset, no matter what. Aqua Viper, definitely have a playset, just in case of your play. Rookie Rush. Jax Raid is definitely really good, especially in the Lilamon loop that comes out in set 5. So definitely pick it up. Get your playset, hold on to it, wait for the Lilamon loop if you are playing purple. Hell's Gate is really good because deleting one of your opponent's level 6 Digimon is just really good because, like I said, with Plutamon, he gets another combo card that's Zerbara Strike or something like that and deletes two Digimon for the for its cost, which isn't bad. And Final Zabor Punch is really good. It's still good for a while. Black still struggles greatly. None of these other cards I would highly recommend. Tactical Retreat, possibly, but again, that's just for Rookie Rush builds. Or yellow. Um, let's go over promos that I definitely think you should pick up. Um, Grand Quagamon definitely falls off the face of the earth for, for some reason or another. Black War Greymon still is good for a few sets. Um, Metal Gurumon kind of falls off because Gallantmon is just too good not to play, and Lothmon Loop is just better. Yeah, Gallantmon and stuff like that. This is what you're going to be definitely like. You can give up Metal Gurumon if you didn't have him. I mean, definitely get him for if you're playing set four, but he's going to dip hard. He's going to crash. So again, recommendation sell off him if you're not planning to play purple. Um, Agunimon definitely 
Sadly, I don't justify unless they make another Ancient Greymon that is just better, or they have a way of making a cheap evolution, like a rookie that gives Pierce, because Ancient Greymon is just not going to cut it. Um, Lobomon, though, definitely get your play set of him. He's going to be good set 6, 6, 7, set um, that in-between set. Like, definitely pick him up. You need him. Gatomon's like $9 right now. Don't sleep on this. This card can spike because even though we have Mastamon in the set, again, while this has a purple Digimon in play, this Digimon games blocker, again, we have Mastamon, but there's always going to be eventuality where we get better cards. So definitely don't sleep on Gatomon. If you do, you're going to regret it. And again, very playable in this format. So don't sleep on it. Palmon's really good. Definitely you're going to need him. I mean, her. Almon is just too good not to get. Um, Cesarimon is not bad. It does fade off a bit. Because again, you don't get Digimon that high naturally. Don Devi, I mean Devi Devi really works well with Dom Dom Dan Devi deck. But the problem is it will get better as more support comes out. And especially if they make another Don Devi. Devimon just gets better because being able to cheat in something for its on deletion is just really good. Pulsemon, um, he's going to be expensive for a while. We do get another printing of him in the promo tournament packs. So definitely there's another art, same skill, everything like that. So again, he will dip, but then he'll spike back up because he's a card that's sticking around for a good while. There's no reason not to play him. Um... Let's take a little look down this. Get your Diabormons. This is the only card I will recommend getting for the black deck or Armageddon. Anything else is just way too overpriced. I don't justify it. I don't recommend getting a Furmons. I don't get I recommend for Surimon. And I don't recommend Karamon. Karamon, unless you get him for like five bucks, do not spend money on him. He is not needed. He is okay-ish on the card but again you're wasting your time you're wasting you could play anything else in black with um diaboramon he has two other better caramons out there the one that lets you search for stuff and then you have the one that gains power i think so definitely don't waste your time demi demi von the card's expensive for no reason. Again, it only gets better when future support comes out, but on play for three costs, the mill two is a little expensive. You're giving too much for your opponent. I don't recommend picking him up. Um, Venomai Osman, if you really want to, but again, he's sense. This is just cheap. Um, but again, it's kind of like my big recommendations. And then Agumon here, definitely pick him up for future sets. Outside of that, really nothing I would ever suggest. Grand Quagamon, if you have it, just hold on to it. Sell it, if not. Again, guys, hopefully you find this video very informative and helpful, guys, to what to keep and what to kind of move off. Like, I definitely give you suggestions. They're really good cards. Playing in the meadow now are very viable, but again, they fall off going to set five. So you don't, like, spend all your money then go like, well, this deck is trash. I don't, I can't keep up. Well, why did you go for that deck? I know you wanted to play it really badly, but there's always situations. But again, as you know, I like to make a bunch of deck profiles. I will make updated versions of these old decks to hopefully move them over for you when you get to set five. But remember to like, comment, subscribe in this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.